I learned this from uh, DJ Carlo Attendido um, on YouTube and I thought I'd just do a screen capture on the process of how I would refine music so that I can have better DJ sets because I know all the songs in that playlist and not just have stacks and stacks of albums. This is my third time already, um, so I've already copied and pasted all these empty folders outside of my DJ software, uh, Serato DJ Pro, and all I need to do is copy these empty folders and then create another uh, backup folder which will contain all these folders and all I need to do is drag and drop my files from Serato. So as you can see with the folder naming convention it corresponds the physical music itself on the computer folder there matches the folders inside the software. Uh, these sub crates over here. So you can see gigs, there's one for gigs, there's one for acoustic, acoustic charts I've decided not to have anymore because um, I'm gonna have errors and so forth. Uh, because I've done it already I'm just gonna create a new folder called one test. One, oh, where is it? This folder here. One test. And I'm just gonna go to say, acoustic and a drag and drop uh, barely brush low into here. It's as simple as that. Um, you can grab multiple files like this. And fantastic. You've got a physical backup. So now I have checked that all my music is backed up in my backup folder on my external hard drive. Serato DJ revamp 25.3.20. Uh, I'll just quickly go through each folder and make sure I've physically dragged and dropped it correctly, as so, all the way to the bottom. Select all. Before I select all, maybe I do want a copy of um, Serato's folders. Let's see what's in there. So for Serato, you'll have things like the history, so you know what songs you played at a set. Um, you'll have other important things like if you've made any recordings of your set or mixtapes at home. Um, carry that across. I think an important part of this is subcrates because as you can see with all this crazy naming convention, um, if I was to remove all the songs out of these crates, shut Serato DJ Pro off, turn it on back again, the crates would probably disappear because there's no songs inside. Um, I'll do a demonstration. So I just created a crate here. I'm just going to call it KR. So there's no, there's no songs in this crate. If I shut it down, and then fire it back up again. Pretty sure that Haya crate in Serato is not there anymore. No. Where's my Haya exclamation mark crate? It's not there. So, this is why we're backing up these sub crates and all that hard work in compiling music for each of these folders. For that not to be lost, um, are these little awesome dot crate files which uh, will keep the memory of the songs that are supposed to be in each folder. Hope I didn't lose you there, but um, before I deleted all the music off my laptop, I should save these two Serato folders so that I have peace of mind. Yay, yeah, today's 27. Let's go. Nice. Happy days. These folders are actually um, automatically generated when you create folders in Serato and put music in each folder. Um, I've saved them on my external hard drive. Uh, if I had left them there on my laptop, it would act, the software would actually go back and read those folders and I might have lots of duplicate or confusing 
uh, crates here that's pulling music from a range of sources. I want all my crates to pull music only from my MacBook, not my external hard drives. Uh, in case I leave my external hard drive at home, then I won't have access to some songs that I thought I had for a gig. All right, I think I'm now comfortable uh, deleting the files. So I'm gonna jump back to music, the local files. Let me just quickly scan through, yes. Let's delete everything. Uh, this is so scary. So bye bye. It's been backed up. I'm confident. Okay. So now, if I d shut off Serato and I open it back up again, I guarantee you these crates won't be there anymore. I need these crates right now because I don't want to recreate all of them. That's a lot of typing to do. And it's taking, uh, well originally it said 3 hours, but realistically I would say it's about 25 minutes depending on how your devices are spec. Got my 40s music, got my 50s to 60s music, and so forth. We still have some music uh, that's duplicated that we need to delete, um, which is why it's 75 gigabytes. Um, remember, it was 90. So I'm going to delete another folder where I stored some other music in the back end 